We have a profound and continuing interest in alien worlds, bizarre ecosystems filled with strange creatures. We encounter these alien worlds in books, movies, and our dreams. They are very diverse, but they all share one thing in common. They are figments of our human imagination. They're not real. And even if such alien worlds exist somewhere in outer space, which may well be the case, we will likely never get to visit them. The distances are too great and our bodies too fragile. That is the bad news. The good news is that we can travel to alien worlds that are every bit as bizarre and as spectacular as the ones we imagine in Avatar or Star Wars. All we need to do is travel back in time on our own planet. I will take you on such a journey back in time 100 million years into the past to a strange place swarming with predators, an ecosystem I described as the most dangerous place in the history of our planet. Here, giant 20-foot wingspan flying reptiles rule the skies. Dissecting one of these strange creatures with long slender jaws and multi-layered complex wing membranes would be one of the most interesting experiences an anatomist could have. Three different kinds of flying dragons inhabit our alien world. With heads stranger than fiction, they are unlike any animals alive today. Our alien world is also home to huge river systems, covering an area approaching the size of the continental United States. Giant river monsters are patrolling these waterways in search of car-sized fish. This 50-foot-long predator is Spinosaurus, the first semi-aquatic dinosaur known. With a sail taller than a person and long slender jaws to catch fish, I think that this animal makes our imaginary and fictional dragons look very boring. Very few plant-eating giants inhabit our predator's paradise. The ones that do venture here have to fend off hunters with knife-like teeth and ferocious claws. These two predators are cacarodontosaurs, bus-sized hunters. Now, at times, our journey back in time might conjure up images of nightmares and surreal landscapes. This is a world red in tooth and claw, a river of giants, a place full of unfamiliar smells, extreme climate conditions, and swarming with bizarre creatures. It really does feel like an ecosystem from the depths of space. And yet, all of these creatures lived on this very planet. Their fossils, ghosts from deep time, remind us that these animals were real. There's something very tangible about these alien worlds, and that makes them very special to me. I'm resurrecting this particular ecosystem through my fieldwork in the Sahara, scouring the sands of the desert in search of fossils. All the animals and environments you saw here existed 100 million years ago in a place we now call the Sahara. So for me, looking down on this queen of the deserts, the Sahara, I cannot help traveling back in time, in my mind, to alien worlds that are beautiful, awe-inspiring and full of surprises. They really are more bizarre than we could possibly imagine. And most importantly, they are real. Thank you.